this is Pastor Dave. I've got a small spiritual nugget for you today. Just wanted to hand this one over to you. In Psalm 32, David is exclaiming what it was like to carry his sin for a long period of time. And he says, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Now, there can be no argument. The sweetest place to be is in perfect alignment with God's will and not worrying about the things that you're holding on to that he's trying to take from our clasped hand and understanding that I, I'm i just living my life open to him. And David understood that because he had been through it. In fact, in verse 3 and 4, he goes, When I kept silent, my bones grew old through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My vitality was turned into the drought of summer. David speaking in the first person saying, I remember what it was like to hold on to my sin. And everyone believes that this is after he had sinned with Bathsheba and for Samuel. And when he was holding on to it, he says his bones rotted. What an interesting statement that is, to hold on to something that you know that the Lord would have you to release, to ask forgiveness for. And he just held on to it for way too long. And the Lord punished him for that. Uh, and we punish ourselves by holding on to things that the Lord died for so that we can release them to him. He continues in verse 5, and he says, I acknowledged my sin to you and my iniquity, I have not hidden. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And he forgave the iniquity of my sin. He went through the point where he understood, you know, it's good for us to be forgiven. And I remember when I wasn't, when I was still under the judgment of God. My goodness, when we hold on to those things, it's to our detriment. When we have a loving God who sent his only son to die for our sins so that we don't have to carry our sins, that this poison that we hold on to is easily released if we just open our hands. And he says, I remember when I confessed my sin. So bottom line here, guys, is today, keep short accounts with the Lord. And when he convinces you of something, repent and confess. The word confess means to agree, agree with God. In fact, it says in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness, which means, number one, he forgives our sin, and number two, he cleanses of us of all unrighteousness so that we don't stay the same. And boy, what a blessed God that we have who's willing to do that, that sent his son so that we might come to him with that and be not only forgiven but repaired. I pray that you guys are having a blessed day. Please put it into practice and watch how God might work in you. Amen.